In mathematics, a partial derivative of a function of several variables is its derivative with respect to one of those variables, with the others held constant, as opposed to the total derivative, in which all variables are allowed to vary. Partial derivatives are used in vector calculus and differential geometry. The partial derivative of a function f x y display style f x y dots with respect to the variable x display style x is variously denoted by f x f x x f d x f D one F X F or F X Display style F underscore X, F underscore X, partial underscore X, F D underscore X, F D underscore one F, frac partial partial X, F, text or frac partial F partial X. Sometimes for Z equals F X Y display style Z equals F X Y L dots the partial derivative of Z display style Z with respect to X display style X is denoted as Z X Display style TFRAC partial Z partial X Since a partial derivative generally has the same arguments as the original function, its functional dependence is sometimes explicitly signified by the notation, such as in F X X Y F X X Y Display style f underscore x x y l dots frac partial f partial x x y l dots. The symbol used to denote partial derivatives is one of the first known uses of this symbol in mathematics is by Marquis de Condorcet from 1770, who used it for partial differences. The modern partial derivative notation was created by Adrian Marie Legendre, 1786, though he later abandoned it. Carl Gustav Jacob Jacobi reintroduced the symbol again in 1841. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Introduction. Suppose that f is a function of more than one variable. For instance, Z equals F X Y equals X two plus X Y plus Y two Display style Z equals F X Y equals X carrot two plus X E plus Y carrot two the graph of this function defines a surface in Euclidean space. To every point on this surface, there are an infinite number of tangent lines. Partial differentiation is the act of choosing one of these lines and finding its slope. Usually, the lines of most interest are those that are parallel to the x z display style x z plane, and those that are parallel to the yz plane, which result from holding either y or x constant, respectively. To find the slope of the line tangent to the function at p 1 1 display style p 1 1 and parallel to the x z display style x z plane, we treat y display style y as a constant the graph and this plane are shown on the right below we see how the function looks on the plane y equals 1 display style y equals 1 
by finding the derivative of the equation while assuming that y display style y is a constant we find that the slope of f display style f at the point x y display style x y is z x equals 2 x plus y display style frac partial z partial x equals 2 x plus y so at 1 1 display style 1 1 by substitution the slope is 3 therefore z x equals 3 display style frac partial z partial x equals 3 at the point 1 1 display style 1 1 that is the partial derivative of z display style z with respect to x display style x at 1 1 display style 1 1 is 3 as shown in the graph topic definition topic basic definition The function f can be reinterpreted as a family of functions of one variable indexed by the other variables f x y equals f y x equals x 2 plus x y plus y 2 display style f x y equals f underscore y x equals x caret 2 plus x e plus y caret 2 in other words every value of y defines a function denoted f y which is a function of one variable x that is f y x equals x 2 plus x y plus y 2 display style f underscore y x equals x caret 2 plus x e plus y caret 2 note that in this section the subscript notation f y denotes a function contingent on a fixed value of y and not a partial derivative once a value of y is chosen, say a, then f x y determines a function f a which traces a curve x two plus x plus a two on the x z display style x z plane f a x equals x two plus a x plus a 2 display style f underscore a x equals x caret 2 plus a x plus a caret 2 in this expression a is a constant not a variable so f a is a function of only one real variable that being x consequently the definition of the derivative for a function of one variable applies f a x equals 2 x plus a display style f underscore a x equals 2 x plus a the above procedure can be performed for any choice of a assembling the derivatives together into a function gives a function which describes the variation of f in the x direction f x x y equals 2 x plus y 
Display style frac partial f partial x x y equals two x plus y. This is the partial derivative of f with respect to x. Here is a rounded d called the partial derivative symbol. To distinguish it from the letter d is sometimes pronounced though or partial. In general, the partial derivative of an nary function f x one xn in the direction she at the point a1 and is defined to be f x i a 1 a n equals lim h 0 f a 1 a i plus h a n minus f a 1 a i a n h Display style frac partial f partial x underscore i a underscore one l dots a underscore n equals lim underscore h to zero frac f a underscore one l dots a underscore i plus h l dots a underscore n f a underscore one l dots a underscore i dots a underscore n h in the above difference quotient all the variables except she are held fixed. That choice of fixed values determines a function of one variable f a 1 a i minus 1 a i plus 1 a n x i equals f a one A I minus one X I A I plus one A N Display style F underscore a underscore one L dots a underscore I one a underscore I plus one L dots a underscore N x underscore I equals F A underscore one L dots a underscore I one x underscore I A underscore I plus one L dots a underscore N and by definition D F a one A I minus one A I plus one A N D X I A I equals F X I A one A N Display style frac df underscore a underscore one L dots a underscore I one a underscore I plus one L dots a underscore N DX underscore I A underscore I equals frac partial F partial X underscore I A underscore one L dots a underscore N in other words, the different choices of a index are family of one variable functions just as in the example above. This expression also shows that the computation of partial derivatives reduces to the computation of one variable derivatives. An important example of a function of several variables is the case of a scalar valued function f x1 xn on a domain in Euclidean space R n display style math b r caret n e.g. on R two display style math b r carrot two or R three display style math b r carrot three. In this case, f has a partial derivative f x j with respect to each variable x j. 
at the point a these partial derivatives define the vector f a equals f x 1 a f x n a Display style nabla f a equals left frac partial f partial x underscore one a l dots frac partial f partial x underscore n a right. This vector is called the gradient of f at a. If f is differentiable at every point in some domain, then the gradient is a vector-valued function f which takes the pointer to the vector f a. Consequently, the gradient produces a vector field. A common abuse of notation is to define the del operator as follows in three-dimensional Euclidean space R three display style math b R caret three with unit vectors i caret j caret k caret Display style hat math bf i hat math bf j hat math bf k equals x i carrot plus y j carrot plus z k carrot Display style nabla equals left frac partial partial x right hat math bf i plus left frac partial partial y right hat math bf j plus left frac partial partial z right hat math bf k or more generally for n dimensional Euclidean space R n display style math b r carrot n with coordinates x one x n display style x underscore one l dots x underscore n and unit vectors e carrot one e carrot n Display style hat math bf e underscore one l dots hat math bf e underscore n equals j equals one n x j e carrot j equals x one e Carrot one plus x two e carrot two plus plus x n e carrot n Display style nabla equals sum underscore j equals one carrot n left frac partial partial x underscore j right hat math bf e underscore j equals left frac partial partial x underscore one right hat math bf e underscore one plus left frac partial partial x underscore two right hat math bf e underscore two plus l dots plus left frac partial 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 x underscore n right hat math bf e underscore n. Topic Formal definition Like ordinary derivatives, the partial derivative is defined as a limit. Let u be an open subset of R n display style math b r carrot n and F U R display style F U to math B R a function. The partial derivative of F at the point a equals a one a n element of U display style math BF a equals underscore 1 L dots underscore n in u 
with respect to the ith variable she is defined as x i f a equals lim h 0 f a 1 a i minus 1 a i plus h a i plus 1 a n minus f a 1 a i a n h Display style frac partial partial x underscore i f math b f a equals lim underscore h to zero frac f a underscore one l dots underscore i one underscore i plus h underscore i plus one l dots underscore n f a underscore one l dots underscore i dots underscore n h even if all partial derivatives f she exist at a given point a, the function need not be continuous there. However, if all partial derivatives exist in a neighborhood of a and are continuous there, then f is totally differentiable in that neighborhood and the total derivative is continuous. In this case, it is said that f is a C1 function. This can be used to generalize for vector-valued functions f u R M display style f u to math b r caret m by carefully using a component-wise argument. The partial derivative f x display style frac partial f partial x can be seen as another function defined on u and can again be partially differentiated. If all mixed second order partial derivatives are continuous at a point or on a set f is termed a c2 function at that point or on that set in this case the partial derivatives can be exchanged by clairaut's theorem 2 f x i x j equals 2 f x J X I display style frac partial carrot two f partial x underscore i partial x underscore j equals frac partial carrot two f partial x underscore j partial x underscore i. Topic examples. Topic. Geometry The volume 5 of a cone depends on the cone's height h and its radius r according to the formula V r h equals pi r 2 h 3 Display style v r h equals frac pi r caret 2 h 3. The partial derivative of v with respect to r is v r equals 2 pi r h 3. Display style frac partial v partial r equals frac 2 pi r h 3 which represents the rate with which a cone's volume changes if its radius is varied and its height is kept constant. The partial derivative with respect to h h equals pi r 2 3 display style frac pi r caret 2 3 which represents the rate with which the volume changes if its height is varied and its radius is kept constant. By contrast, the total derivative of v with respect to r and h are respectively d v d 
R equals two Pi R H three V R plus Pi R two three V H D H D R Display style frac dv doctor equals overbrace frac two pi r h three carrot frac partial v partial r plus overbrace frac pi r carrot two three carrot frac partial v partial h frac d h doctor and d v d h equals pi R two three V H plus two Pi R H three V R D R D H Display style frac dv dh equals overbrace frac pi r carrot two three carrot frac partial v partial h plus overbrace frac two pi r h three carrot frac partial v partial r frac doctor dh. The difference between the total and partial derivative is the elimination of indirect dependencies between variables in partial derivatives. If, for some arbitrary reason, the cone's proportions have to stay the same, and the height and radius are in a fixed ratio k, k equals h r equals d h d r. Display style k equals frac h r equals frac d h doctor. This gives the total derivative with respect to R D V D R equals two Pi R H three plus Pi R two three K Display style frac dv doctor equals frac two pi r h three plus frac pi r carrot two three k, which simplifies to d v d r equals k pi r two Display style frac dv doctor equals k pi r carrot two. Similarly, the total derivative with respect to h is d v d h equals pi r two. Display style frac dv dh equals pi r carrot two. The total derivative with respect to both R and H of the volume intended as scalar function of these two variables is given by the gradient vector. V equals V R V H equals two three pi R H one three Pi R two Display style Nabla V equals left frac partial V partial R frac partial V partial H right equals left frac two three Pi R H frac one three Pi R carrot two right Topic Optimization Partial derivatives appear in any calculus-based optimization problem with more than one choice variable. 
For example, in economics a firm may wish to maximize profit pi x, y with respect to the choice of the quantities x and y of two different types of output. The first order conditions for this optimization are pi x. Topic zero. Pi y. Since both partial derivatives pi x and pi y will generally themselves be functions of both arguments x and y, these two first order conditions form a system of two equations in two unknowns. Topic: <laughs> Thermodynamics and mathematical physics. Partial derivatives appear in thermodynamic equations like gibbs duhem equation as well in other equations from mathematical physics. Here the variables being held constant in partial derivatives can be ratio of simple variables like mole fractions she in the following example involving the Gibbs energies in a ternary mixture system g 2 equals g plus 1 minus x 2 g x 2 x 1 x 3 Display style bar G underscore two equals G plus one x underscore two left frac partial G partial x underscore two right underscore frac x underscore one x underscore three Express mole fractions of a component as functions of other components mole fraction and binary mole ratios x one equals one minus x 2 1 plus x 3 x 1 display style x underscore 1 equals frac 1 x underscore 2 1 plus frac x underscore 3 x underscore 1 x 3 equals 1 minus x 2 1 plus x 1 x 3 display style x underscore 3 equals frac 1 x underscore 2 1 plus frac x underscore 1 x underscore 3 differential quotients can be formed at constant ratios like those above x 1 x 2 x 1 x 3 equals minus x 1 1 minus x 2 Display style left frac partial x underscore one partial x underscore two right underscore frac x underscore one x underscore three equals frac x underscore one one x underscore two x three x two x one x three equals Minus x three one minus x two display style left frac partial x underscore three partial x underscore two right underscore frac x underscore one x underscore three equals frac x underscore three one x underscore two Ratios x, y, z of mole fractions can be written for ternary and multi-component systems. X equals x three x one plus x three. Display style x equals frac x underscore three x underscore one plus x underscore three. Y equals x three x 
2 plus x 3 Display style y equals frac x underscore three x underscore two plus x underscore three z equals x two x one plus x two display style z equals frac x underscore two x underscore one plus x underscore two which can be used for solving partial differential equations like mu 2 n 1 n 2 n 3 equals mu 1 n 2 n 1 n 3 Display style left frac partial mu underscore two partial n underscore one right underscore n underscore two n underscore three equals left frac partial mu underscore one partial n underscore two right underscore n underscore one n underscore three. This equality can be rearranged to have differential quotient of mole fractions on one side. Topic: Image resizing. Partial derivatives are key to target-aware image resizing algorithms. Widely known as seam carving, these algorithms require each pixel in an image to be assigned a numerical energy to describe their dissimilarity against orthogonal adjacent pixels. The algorithm then progressively removes rows or columns with the lowest energy. The formula established to determine a pixel's energy magnitude of gradient at a pixel depends heavily on the constructs of partial derivatives. Topic: <laughs> Economics. Partial derivatives play a prominent role in economics in which most functions describing economic behavior posit that the behavior depends on more than one variable. For example, a societal consumption function may describe the amount spent on consumer goods as depending on both income and wealth. The marginal propensity to consume is then the partial derivative of the consumption function with respect to income. Topic: Notation. For the following examples, let f Display style f be a function in x y display style x y and z display style z first order partial derivatives f x equals f x equals x f Display style frac partial f partial x equals f underscore x equals partial underscore x f second order partial derivatives two f x two equals f x x equals x x f equals x to f display style frac partial carrot 2 f partial x carrot 2 equals f underscore x x equals partial underscore x x f equals partial underscore x carrot 2 f second order mixed derivatives 2 f y x equals y f x equals f x y equals f x y equals y x f 
equals y x f display style frac partial caret 2 f partial y partial x equals frac partial partial y left frac partial f partial x right equals f underscore x underscore y equals f underscore x y equals partial underscore y x f equals partial underscore y partial underscore x f higher order partial and mixed derivatives i plus J plus K F X I Y J Z K equals F I J K equals X I Y J Z K F Display style frac partial carrot I plus J plus K F partial X carrot I partial Y carrot J partial Z carrot K equals F carrot I J K equals partial underscore X carrot I partial underscore Y carrot J partial underscore Z carrot K F when dealing with functions of multiple variables, some of these variables may be related to each other, thus it may be necessary to specify explicitly which variables are being held constant to avoid ambiguity. In fields such as statistical mechanics, the partial derivative of f f with respect to x x holding y display style y and z display style z constant is often expressed as f x y z display style left frac partial f partial x right underscore y z Conventionally, for clarity and simplicity of notation, the partial derivative function and the value of the function at a specific point are conflated by including the function arguments when the partial derivative symbol, Leibniz notation, is used. Thus, an expression like f x y z x Display style frac partial f x y z partial x is used for the function, while f u v w u display style frac partial f u v w partial u might be used for the value of the function at the point x y z equals u v w display style x y z equals u v w however this convention breaks down when we want to evaluate the partial derivative at a point like x y z equals 17 u plus v v 2 display style x y z equals 17 u plus v v caret 2 in such a case evaluation of the function must be expressed in an unwieldy manner as f x y z x 17 u plus v v 2 display style frac partial f x y z partial x 17 u plus v v caret 2 or f x y z x x y z equals 17 u plus v v 2 
Display style left frac partial f x y z partial x right underscore x y z equals seventeen u plus v v carrot two. In order to use the Leibniz notation, thus in these cases it may be preferable to use the Euler differential operator notation with d i display style d underscore i as the partial derivative symbol with respect to the ith variable. For instance, one would write d 1 f 17 u plus v v 2 display style d underscore 1 f 17 u plus v v caret 2 for the example described above, while the expression d one f display style d underscore one f represents the partial derivative function with respect to the first variable. For higher order partial derivatives, the partial derivative function of d i f display style d underscore i f with respect to the jth variable is denoted d j d i f equals d i j f display style d underscore j d underscore i f equals d underscore i j f that is d J D I equals D I J display style D underscore J circ D underscore I equals D underscore I J so that the variables are listed in the order in which the derivatives are taken, and thus, in reverse order of how the composition of operators is usually notated. Of course, Clairaut's theorem implies that d i j equals d j i display style d underscore i j equals d underscore j i, as long as comparatively mild regularity conditions on f are satisfied. Topic: Antiderivative analog. There is a concept for partial derivatives that is analogous to antiderivatives for regular derivatives. Given a partial derivative, it allows for the partial recovery of the original function. Consider the example of z x equals two x plus y display style frac partial z partial x equals 2x plus y the partial integral can be taken with respect to x treating y as constant in a similar manner to partial differentiation z equals z x d x equals x 2 plus x y plus g y display style z equals int frac partial z partial x dx equals x caret 2 plus x c plus g y here the constant of integration is no longer a constant, but instead a function of all the variables of the original function except x. The reason for this is that all the other variables are treated as constant when taking the partial derivative, so any function which does not involve x will disappear when taking the partial derivative, and we have to account for this when we take the antiderivative. The most general way to represent this is to have the constant represent an unknown function of all the other variables. Thus the set of functions x 2 plus 
x y plus g y display style x caret 2 plus x c plus g y where g is any one argument function represents the entire set of functions in variables x y that could have produced the x partial derivative 2 x plus y display style 2 x plus y if all the partial derivatives of a function are known for example with the gradient then the antiderivatives can be matched via the above process to reconstruct the original function up to a constant unlike in the single variable case however not every set of functions can be the set of all first partial derivatives of a single function in other words not every vector field is conservative topic higher order partial derivatives second and higher order partial derivatives are defined analogously to the higher order derivatives of univariate functions for the function f x y display style f x y the own Second partial derivative with respect to x is simply the partial derivative of the partial derivative, both with respect to x 2 f x 2 f x x f x x f x x Display style frac partial carrot two f partial x carrot two equivalent partial frac partial f partial x partial x equivalent frac partial f underscore x partial x equivalent f underscore x x. The cross partial derivative with respect to x and y is obtained by taking the partial derivative of f with respect to x, and then taking the partial derivative of the result with respect to y to obtain. 2 f y x f x y f x y f x y Display style frac partial carrot two f partial y partial x equivalent partial frac partial f partial x partial y equivalent frac partial f underscore x partial y equivalent f underscore x y. Schwartz's theorem states that if the second derivatives are continuous, the expression for the cross partial derivative is unaffected by which variable the partial derivative is taken with respect to first and which is taken second. That is, 2 f x y equals 2 f y x. Display style frac partial carrot two f partial x partial y equals frac partial carrot two f partial y partial x or equivalently f x y equals f y x display style f underscore x y equals f underscore y x own and cross partial derivatives appear in the Hessian matrix which is used in the second order conditions in optimization problems. Topic See also equals equals notes <laughs>